Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jarrett and Brandy Lambert with 633 Global. Uh, we're putting out our September video newsletter. Uh, it's been a while. Just wanted to update everybody on what's going on in Honduras and what's going on with the Lambert family. Uh, you know, first and most important for us is just to thank our donors and thank our supporters. Mm -hmm. um, you know, your generosity really encourages us. Uh, your prayers, checking in with us, praying for us. Again, we just thank you for your support. It means the world to us. We fully understand that we are working with resources that's been uh, given through sacrificial giving. Right. Uh, every good gift is from the Lord, but we know that God is working through you to right. support us through your support and prayers. So, again, we just thank you so much. Okay, so homeschooling. Homeschooling has, we've seen some improvements. Yeah. Uh, another good reason we've seen improvement is that we actually have an inter intern here, uh, Mary Kate Taylor, MK. She's been helping out with Jojo mostly and yeah. Jada whenever Jada needs, you know, some help. It's been great. We, we see, um, you know, God stirring some things up in MK's heart. Yeah. She's been helping out with Dr. Anna mm -hmm. and Melvin in the clinic on Saturdays. Right. So she's getting some great hands-on experience when yeah. it comes to medical missions. Uh, we say all that just in case somebody's watching who possibly is interested in an internship here with right. us or with Healing Place Church. Right. Uh, there's plenty to do. Just want to throw that out there. Yeah, it's definitely been a blessing. Yeah, back in August, we were able to take a short trip home with the family and we felt like it was a great time just to be refreshed yeah. and rejuvenated and just yeah. just to hang out as a family. Um, so that was a really good trip. Very short trip, but good trip. Uh, we're looking forward to our trip back home. We're actually gonna be home for Christmas at the end of December and most of January. So kids are looking forward to it. I think we're actually looking forward to it. Yeah. So as far as Healing Place Church Honduras, uh, you know, things are going really great. Uh, you know, the prayer for Derek is that just, Derek and Cecia, is that we just move forward as a church and we grow. 2019, uh, we had a lot of great trips from Healing Place Church, a lot of great trips through 633 Global. We were able to serve the local schools with some painting projects, building desks, finishing out a bathroom. Teaching them about hygiene. Teaching them about hygiene. Having fun with them, dance parties. Yep. And uh, we were able to make some improvements to the church property Parking, with yeah. the kids' space. Cooking for Christ Shed. Cooking for Christ Shed. Yeah. And then we're building um, a partition. I don't like to call it a wall. Uh, we're building a partition to separate team housing from the sanctuary and the kids' space. Yeah. Beautiful. Made out of local stones. We're going to do awesome. some concrete planters running along the whole top of it. We believe right. it's going to be beautiful. We believe it's going to serve a great purpose. Right. So we just thank all the teams that came in 2019. Hope to thank see y'all again. So 2020 trips look amazing. I think right now we're looking to, to maybe have about 10 trips, which is really exciting for us because we feel like when we're able to get teams here, they're able to just to take everything, all the distractions away, and they're able really to hear from God. Yeah and they're able to love on the community, serve the community. And then we hope that a seed is planted in their heart so that they can go back and do that at their local church. Right. That's our biggest thing is like, don't take what you learn from Honduras and do it back where God has you planted in your local church right. because it's not just here in Honduras, yeah. it's everywhere. And so we just pray that everyone that comes on a team in 2020, that that seed would be planted yeah. and they would take back whatever God's speaking right. to them. Well, as far as education, uh, really great, you know, God, the last six months has been amazing. Uh, we caught a sale on book sacks. We were able to buy 226 backpacks at a really great price. And then Nemia yeah. and Amir Salah. Uh, Nemia is the owner of Elohim and Neem. Um, it's online, online clothing, clothing store. store. It's online uh, clothing. It's got yeah. accessories, accessories, stuff like that. Yeah. So. But uh, she's from Honduras. There. Her and Amir are members of the Baton Rouge campus. Right. Uh, they stepped up and, um, you know, got donations for notebook, pens, pencils, erasers, everything that we Paper, fill the book sack. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. All that the supplies. That we fill the book sack yeah. with. So here in Honduras, the school year starts in February. So what we do at Healing Place Church Honduras is that for Christmas outreach for kids, we hand out backpacks with the school supplies in them. And so we just thank Amir, Nemia, yeah. and everybody who Nemia reached out to. Yeah and who donated and gave. We appreciate that. It's going to be a blessing for the kids here. Okay. So as far as medical goes, they, we have partnered with Dr. Melvin and Anna. Mm -hmm. 
So on our giving website, anything that goes toward medical, it goes to their support, it goes to their clinic and brigade supplies, and it goes to the clinic construction which they're building. Huge news for the clinic construction. So there's a group in Seattle area, the Northwest and Washington, Seattle area, that has been I guess supporting Melvin and Anna since, since they were young. college and medical school Even for, lower, forever. Even grade school. Um, probably about six weeks ago, they gave a $20,000 donation toward the completion of the clinic. So we had put together a flyer, you may have seen on our social media, that the doctors estimated that they need about 27000 mm -hmm. to uh, complete the clinic. Uh, that group from Seattle area will be coming in October. Yeah, mid-October. Mid-October, they're going to stay month. three to four weeks, yeah. and uh, hopefully they'll complete or get real close to completing the clinic. The new clinic's going to be on their property right next to their house. It's a two-story facility. The first floor is going to be all clinic. Second floor is going to be for housing interns, income and missions teams. Right. So again, if you're watching this, yes. we believe that God yeah. has placed on our heart yeah. quarterly medical brigades. Yes. So every three months, we believe that God's going to uh, touch people's hearts to come in every three months mm -hmm. to do a, a medical brigade for the, the, the surrounding areas. Okay. So <laughs> if you are a doctor, yes. if you are a physician's assistant, a nurse, mm -hmm. a dentist, a uh, chiropractor, okay. We're just asking that you would pray. Yeah. Speak to some people in your profession. So just be praying about organizing a team to yeah. come to Honduras for a week. Uh, you'll be staying you know, on church property. We'll mm -hmm. take care of room and board, uh, and you'll be able to serve eight to 10 hours a day, probably three to four days out of the week. And with all of our G3 teams, we incorporate some R&R, &R, some swimming, some fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's our heart. So to wrap things up, you know, we've talked about a lot going on personally here in Honduras. We've also mentioned the idea of our, our teams coming. Yep. Um, just want to let you know, if you visit our website, www.633global.org slash G3 teams, you can check out all the information we have as far as having um, a potential mission trip here and the things that we can offer. So we ask that you would maybe check that out if something's stirring in your heart. Or if you know of someone who might be interested, you've heard, you've overheard someone say, I'd really love to go on a mission trip. I'd love to be part of a medical brigade, whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, if there's a stirring, we just ask that you just point them straight to uh, the, the website, website to get more information. And uh, we'd be happy, you know, to reach out to them if they want to email me at brandy.lambert at 633global.org um, and look we just able, yeah we we'd love to be able to connect with them look at the calendar see what they're looking for and the potential dates and mm -hmm. get them scheduled and start planning the trip so uh, right now we're looking at scheduling trips from February to November right so, so that's the September video newsletter that's it uh, well, we appreciate you guys yeah. keeping up with us appreciate the prayers so we're very humble and very thankful so Thank you. From Jada, Josiah, Brandy, and J myself, Jared, and uh, everybody at 633 Global, we love you guys. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you.